First round pick. That spin move, getting after the quarterback. Very athletic player. You know, he looks like he's about 270. Well, he's almost 300 pounds. So you're looking at a huge defensive end who can be able to hold up strong at the point against the run. Also get after the quarterback. That's his forte. You see the natural pass rush instincts that he possesses, Chris. And I think the key here is at the Division II level, you have to take over games. You have to dominate to be a number one. From the midway point of his senior year, the latter portion, he did that. 13 tackles were lost, 12 sacks. And for Seattle to move down twice and get the player they were originally going to consider, along with L.J. Shelton, they have to be pretty ecstatic, Joe. Plug him in, Joe. You got Sinclair yeah. to rush the passer. You have Cortez Kennedy. Adams. You have Adams, who had a finally a good year last year. I mean, Nick. Phillip Daniels with six and a half sacks opposite Michael Sinclair. Claire, this is a great opportunity to build rotation. I think what Fritz Shermer wants to do, he just doesn't want to line up with five or six guys up front. He wants to be able to run six or seven defensive linemen through, keep them fresh out there. That's going to be the big key. Fritz Shermer is a magician when it comes to moving the people around. Now, all of a sudden, you give him people of equal level, he can keep that, keep that same kind of pressure, same kind of intensity on you, and that's why a draft pick like this is so key to what Seattle wants to do on the defense. Very interesting. Now we have two straight picks, one from Eastern Michigan, one from the Cardinals of Saginaw Valley State. Let's go up to uh, Mike Tirico for a moment. Michael. Big Cardinals fan, old Sag Valley State. Chris Mortensen, as uh, Boomer talked about earlier, a nice move by Mike Holmgren, dropping down five spots, but adding picks because he had so few coming in. Give us an overall picture on Holmgren's philosophy and what he's trying to do here. Well, I think, well, number one, I think he's kind of put this stamp on himself as a executive coach. Not only that, though, he's showing how much faith he does have in Fritz Schirmer longtime defensive coordinator. It was Fritz Schirmer who assured the Packers last year that Bonnie Holiday, a defensive tackle, could play defensive end in his defense. And I think that's what he gets with this pick, too. A guy who could play head up, be physical, and that's pretty impressive right now in terms of, I know Fritz Schirmer's pretty happy about this. Joe rattled through some impressive names. Add Anthony Simmons to that list there, one from last year. They've got some good names on defense, but their performance is pretty bad. 27th ranked okay. overall in the NFL. Maybe good names doesn't always translate to performance. And I know one thing, Fritz and Mike are going to expect their guys to perform. We talk about assistance a lot. Don't underestimate the value of Fritz Shermer. The Buffalo Bills are on the clock. Who will be their first round pick in 99? They're on the clock, and we'll be back with more of the draft after this. We have in our possession a chip chip that could revolutionize medicine as we know it. By performing a hundred billion operations a second, this chip could help us heal across continents. We could touch more lives, help people live longer than ever, and give us all more time to cherish the journey's truest rewards. But then we thought, hey, let's use it for games. <laughs> 3D effects, PC accelerators. So powerful, it's kind of ridiculous. You know, that game's a little violent for my taste. The new Acura RL has distinctive styling to appeal to your elegant side. A performance tuned suspension to satisfy your assertive side. And a sophisticated front and side airbag system to protect both sides. The new RL from Acura. attention McGuire got last year, I got jealous. So this year, I'm going for the record. <laughs> Maybe instead of the big unit, they'll start calling me the long unit. <laughs> Getting the opportunity to be in Jerry Maguire, that was a real thrill. Quite a few of us auditioned for parts. Show me the money! Show me the money. Show me the money! You complete me. You complete me. Help me help you! Who's coming with me? Who's coming with me? Let's go! Who's coming with me? 
there were a couple of performances that really surprised them. You had me at hello. You had me at hello. Four hours in, here is your NFL draft update. Again, quarterbacks taking five of the first 12 picks. Couch, McNabb, Smith, Culpepper, and McNown. Combined signing bonuses, maybe 40 million bucks. Patriots swap first round picks, move up three spots to get Damian Woody, a center from nearby Boston College. The Cowboys get a trade and get Ebenezer Ekubon, the pass rusher. So eight out of the last nine picks have been pure linemen. The ninth guy is Javon Curse, who does rush the passer. But another guy who also plays linebacker, still undrafted, the big cat from Ohio State, Andy Katzenmoyer. Well, he's a great high school player. He has all the measurables, 6'2", uh, 248, can run a 4'540". And uh, when you look at him, uh, they talked about last year, uh, he may have lost interest in college football. He's a sure tackler. Made a lot of big plays as a freshman, Kirk. Made a, made a hit here on the Iowa back. As a linebacker, you've got to have very good lateral movements. You've got to be able to close on the football and then finish off and make the hit. Andy Katzmar can move 4 5 40. Diagnosing the play, reading blocking schemes. And that the biggest question I hear from pro teams is whether he can keep blockers off his legs. If he came out last year, Chris Kirk, he would have been a top 10 pick. They said he may have lost interest in college football last year. Well, I think one of the reasons some people may evaluate Andy Katzmore and think that he lost a little bit of interest in the game is because he's not a real emotional player. He never has been throughout his entire career. He's not a guy that's going to make a play, jump up, and get crazy. But he is a physical freak, 6'3", 255 pounds, runs a 4'4", and the 40. I think some of the NFL per personnel right now are looking at Andy Katzmore and they're questioning the instincts, the fact that blockers did get up in his legs, and that's why I think he's starting to slide a little bit here in the first round. A lot of physical freaks have flopped. He's got to prove that he loves football. Very few linebackers have ever succeeded without having that passion and that drive and that need to be an aggressive, great football player. We'll see if Katzmore can do that for whatever team drafts him. Now for an update, down to Hank Goldberg in Miami. Henry, some news? Yeah, you know, Jimmy's been jonesing for a phone call. He wanted to get into the action. He did. He gave up his 24th pick coming up in this draft to number 27, where San Francisco now moves up. So in addition to that, they get the first pick that San Francisco had in the fifth round. That's number 134. Now, remember, San Francisco was holding another Dolphins pick in the fifth round. They had given it up for Kevin Gogan. So he gets back a fifth round pick. He's at 134 there, and he gets the 27th pick in this round and don't be surprised if he trades down again because he's still looking for running backs and a, and a few of them will be there early in the second round or he could go with rob conrad in this round the running back from syracuse let's go back to new york all right hank thank you so that a uh, a swamp of picks right below where we are right now in buffalo san francisco wants to come up to make sure they get a defensive tackle that they want now buffalo i'm going to take a guess here you know, I talk to that same cab driver that I do every year. It's amazing how that works. Same guy picks you up all the time. Guy always knows. Unbelievable knows. when you're coming into town. Not that this is unguessed. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people have guessed this one. <laughs> Buffalo will go with Antoine Winfield, cornerback, Ohio State. I know he's short, but they're in a division, and they watch Aaron Glenn excel for the Jets. And I, if I had to take a stab... That's who I think How many people pick. do you think really are buying that line after all these years? <laughs> that huh? cab driver, I tell you what. Uh, you, the, your guesses are, the man is unbelievable when it comes to guessing. I'll tell you what we do. Why don't we do this? We take a cab up to the podium. Take the guesswork out of it. Let's go talk to Gene. <laughs> the Buffalo Bills, with the 23rd pick, have selected defensive back from Ohio State, Antoine Winfield. Oh. You're unbelievable. That guy's unbelievable, that cab driver. Hey, Winfield is not, he is, by some mail, call him the best pound-for-pound -pound player in the draft. Do you agree with that? I'll tell you, one of the toughest players at the cornerback position, Chris, to come out in a long, long time. The corner blitz, you see him here on two uh, plays, just dominate off the edge. 214 career tackles for a cornerback is amazing. Decent ball skills here, making the play in coverage. You'll see another pass breakup uh, here as well. You're looking at a kid five, eight and a half, at you know, good recovery speed, not great recovery speed, adequate leaping ability, 38 and a half vertical jump. But he doesn't have those special you know, skills as a jumper or in terms of recovery speed. Let's we'll see if he can compensate for being 5'8 and a half. That's the question, Joe. In a league dominated by big wideouts, Con went 10 Winfield at 5'8 and a half, get the job done. Yeah, but you got Mark McMillan. You know, he's sort of like the little cornerback's hero. Here's a guy who's come on, nobody thought could play real well, and yet he did a terrific job for Kansas City. All Mark McMillan, McMillan ever does is play good football for everybody even though he's a smallish type of a corner. I think this kid can come in and be the same type of a player. 
and they saw what happened when thomas smith got hurt last year they lost burris you know they had